everybody. Welcome to my channel, my YouTube channel, and the handicapped traveler. Some of the things you'll see us doing is going to parks, museums, zoos, possibly some flea markets, just going on some adventures together. And you will find out from a handicapped person's perspective how easy or hard it is at the place we are. Usually I'll have the rollator, also known as a four-wheeled walker. A lot of times I'll have my gate belt on in case my wife has to grab me. Sometimes I'll just use a standard cane, and other times I will be in a wheelchair, like when we go to zoos, because there's no way I can get around a whole zoo without being in a wheelchair. So I look forward to going on some adventures with you all. I hope you enjoy it going with me. And if you do, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe so you know when I will be doing another video. Thank you very much and let's go on our adventure. Okay folks, today we're at Riverview Park in Madison. The last time we were at Arcola Creek Park in Madison, but that was in North Madison. Today we're in South Madison. It's a nice park here. This one's much bigger, six acres, but a lot of it I will not be able to get to. Uh, apparently, Riverview Park was dedicated in memory of J. Earl Miller. I don't know if the whole park was, or just this little display of rocks here. I'll see if I can find out information about that. I didn't see anything on Lake Metro Park website about the dedication. Here's our kiosk welcoming us to Riverview Park. And as I'd like to show you, here's the picture, the map of Riverview Park, and our map of the Lake County Parks, and of course we got rules and regulations. This uh, park here, what's neat is it has a pavilion, which I'm going to get now because it looks like there's going to be a big group probably going to be in there and I want for privacy reasons I don't want to be taping them and here we have a wood pile and they have a wood ring for when you have the pavilion at night or, well I guess during the day it's kind of warm in July though to have a fire during the day but they uh, you can do that what I'm coming up to now is a very big hill the best sledding hill in Madison, at least that's what, the, in Lake County rather, at least that's what the website for Lake Metro Parks say. Now right now it's overgrown with grass and Queensland lace and some other flowers. So you can see it goes pretty deep and then there are stairs that you can go down and there's a path down there which goes down to the Grand River. I'm not going to be able to do it because it's just beyond my capability now. Uh, we do have a couple benches here which you can sit and enjoy looking down at the hill and in winter I guess you can sit there and watch your kids sled ride. So this is, as I said, there's steps going down. Hopefully that gives you an idea of how many steps and then the steps turn into like stone, they're wooden steps just in a stone area. There's no way I can do that. At one time I did, when my son, and youngest son, was much younger and I was still working. 
I could do that. I can't do that anymore. Now we're headed to the trail, which there's a, also part of the trail I won't be able to go on. When we get there, I'll show you that. Um, because again, it goes down, down deep into the uh, to the river, to the Grand River. At one point, I will be able to show you the Grand River. It's hidden right now, and I'm sorry for breathing heavy. This is harder than I thought it would be for me to walk in this grass, and there's a slope. So we're uh, we're gonna get there though. We're headed to the trail, which you can do just a small loop, which I do more often than not. It's just a small loop. Today I might have to take some breaks, but I'm gonna get you further along. And it's this part, just going up to the parking lot, is paved, but then you start a stone, stone path here. And this is another park, which it has a lot of birds, um, mostly native birds. It doesn't get much in the migration season. But it does have a ton of uh, ton of native birds. We've seen woodpeckers, blue jays, uh, of course house sparrows, which are pretty normal to everywhere. And, and now we're going into the woods. What's nice is this is a shady has lots of shade, much, the woods are dense, and here we had some currants, and hopefully my walker is not overpowering mine, you can really hear it going on the least I can hear, hopefully you won't be able to hear it so much that the background noise will be cut down. As you can see, we're walking along. You can hear crickets or katydids. I think it's crickets because it doesn't really sound like katydids right now. Lots of currents. Gotta get over to the side here, folks. I'll have you today. Okay. Uh, we're off. I just passed a couple people on the trail, that's why I had to get over. And I try to respect people's privacy. I don't want to be putting them on YouTube if they don't want to be on YouTube. But you can see lots of bushes and brush. And some areas are kind of dying, too. But that's what you get in the forest. Our dog enjoys walking along this one. There's lots of smells. It's a popular trail for dog walking. So... As you can see now, unfortunately this summer we haven't had much rain, but this, we've got conduits that bring the water down, down to the river, which we still haven't gotten to a point where we can see the river yet, but a lot of time that's really flowing. As I said, we haven't had much rain this summer, so these little 
runways for the water are pretty much dried up. Here's another one. We had some rain a few days ago, but we still could use more. And a lot of times the trail here too is a little swampy because it retains the rain and the water on the trail because the trees, the sun doesn't dry it up as much. And we're coming up to an area where I think I'll be able to show you the river. I'm sorry folks, literally. But I'd be doing better today and I'd be able to do this. We'll see if I get through the whole thing. Sometimes that is one of the disadvantages. Still try to get out when you're handicapped, but you get tired easily. This trail, you probably could get a wheelchair on it. Um, it's kind of rough though. So if you don't mind a bumpy ride, you could do a wheelchair on it. Arcola Creek, they said you could, but that one area where the hill was would be really difficult. But here, except for the hills that I'm not able to do, the wheelchair wouldn't be able to do, but it could get around here. So again, down there's what's called the Grand River. When I get to an area, usually you can see it by now. Um, so when we don't have much rain, the Grand River isn't too grand. We uh, originally lived in the Pittsburgh area. We had the Allegheny, which is where we live near. Then the Ohio came in there. The Monongahela, which were three rivers that really, even when there wasn't much rain, really flowed. Let me see. I'm getting the sun. I can, I can see the river, but not really getting a view of it. We'll keep going. And I'll see if I can get it. As I said, I can't. There are trails walking down there but I can't walk on them. Not with the rollator. Certainly not. not uh, I couldn't get back up. Even going down would be really hard. But, uh, some interesting dead tree there. The shape of it is kind of neat. And then you can see how there's older trees are dying off, but then there's new trees coming in, which is nice. And what's nice is the majority of people do respect and leave the park the way it is. So you can uh, the forest recycles itself so to speak. Now oh, this isn't a forest, it's just wood. Let's see. Uh, another point where you might be able to see the water. Excuse me. Allergies can get to you. doesn't look like you really can see the water even now. I need a really clear spot. And I'm just not getting those clear spots, am I? But at least you can see the woods. I'm not really even hearing birds today. As I said, usually there's a lot of birds in this park. So I'm here later in the day. I was going to try and get here earlier and Due to some circumstances, I couldn't get here earlier. 
the wildlife again is in hiding. See, there's a lot of uh, pine trees, which are a lot in Narcola Park, too. However, in this area, we get a lot more uh, so your maples and some other trees. And I see another group of people coming, so I'm going to stop this for a while and see how far ahead I can get to and maybe pick up later and get some more views for you. See you in a bit. Okay, so I'm back. And as you can see, there's a bench on the path here. And you can look down. Possibly you can see the water now. I can tell it's water. I'm not sure that you all can know. So, we're on our way. What we're doing now is we're coming up where it loops around. Now I'm going to try and get a little bit on the path that heads towards the path that goes down to the river. As I said, that hill is really steep and long. I think it was like three quarters of a mile to get down to the river. Now, I'm not sure that I mentioned it, but that path by the flooding hill that I could not go down to also goes to a campsite. The one campsite that you can get by reservation through Lake Metro Parks. Now, of course, we've never camped there because we live in the area, but it looked like a nice campsite. And the road goes down and around to it also. Uh, we, we have hiked the majority of this park at one time, uh, neither my wife nor I are up to doing that anymore. Even our dog, unfortunately, is getting to the age where she doesn't want to hike as much. So, up above here, there's a uh, little wooden bridge, which I'm hoping to get here to. Can't remember how far along it is. I'm probably going to have to. When I get to it, I'm probably going to have to take a break. So, I'll let you know. And, as I said, the birds and frogs and stuff aren't too, uh, too active today. I guess they're all hiding in the shade, cool, trying to stay cool all only crazy fools like me come out in this. So. And this park is, as I said too, mostly woods. But it's fun. And it's good to get out. Enjoy the air. There was some kind of bird yelling at me. So, as I said, and it's especially good to get out, enjoy the fresh air, and enjoy nature to its fullest. You know, and again, we're coming up on some dead trees, but that's nature too, and it, uh, they get replenished nice. And I can actually see the bridge from where I am now, so it should be 
short, and there is a slight slope, which even slight slopes which don't bother most people, I can, I can feel. going to just let you enjoy this walk here with me for a little bit. This is talking and making me out of breath. Stones are making it kind of hard for me to go on this. This is a lot more stony than the one at Arcola. I have a feeling that they added stones this year to it because I don't remember it being this bad. I also have a coming up on this tree here. It looks like a good tree because. I have an itch, so I'm going to do the glue. And now we're back on our way. Itch is back, is satisfied. I know, I'm a little bit crazy. That's just the way these things are going to be. You're going to see me do some crazy things, but that's all in enjoying life, and here we're coming up on the, on the bridge. There's also private property right over, right there, so you gotta, gotta respect their property and not go on it. But down here is the, the park. I want to get a decent shot of the wooden bridge for you. Yeah. There it is little wooden bridge. <laughs> they got a caution, slippery run, wet sign there. And they also have a sign which they must have posted last year because we had a lot more rain. But it's cautioning you as a result of recent rains. The trail behind this point has been damaged. Proceed at your own risk. So they might not have been able to get it fixed this year. I am turning around, and we are headed back. As I mentioned, we didn't see the sign at first, but private land behind that sign. In other words, stay away. I don't blame these people. So now we're headed back to where the loop was again, and I'll pick it up there. So I got to the area where I talked about earlier where it loops around. Had to take a little rest. I'm just enjoying a shady spot here. Listening to probably locusts, I'm thinking. And I heard some birds and I can hear the trees just whining. Just going to sit here for a little bit. And we're going to enjoy, enjoy nature again. Sometimes just listening to the wind and nature is just so, so relaxing. Well, I'm going to stand up. And you're probably going to hear me moan when I stand, but I'm going to stand up now and we're going to be. Headed down 
headed down the road. Poor path. Uh, and this is, as I said, there's the loop, which makes it a little shorter if you don't want to go up that way. Wow. This area, you can see it's, it's a little swampy. But it really has dried up this year. bat box back there. And a lot of times you can actually see the frogs and hear them at this spot. And not at all today. I'm hoping that I'm hoping that they didn't get killed off because it's so dry. And if they dried up, I'm sure they found a way to survive. Animals are very resourceful. Sometimes I think they're more resourceful than we are. We can learn a lot from the animals and nature. And, and I'm coming up on a... Uh, I talked about how maples are very... Populous in our area. What I'm coming up on now is a striped maple. I learned that from the Know Your Land YouTube channel. That goes way up there. More, more than I can uh, raise my arms. I apologize for that. I don't know if you caught the butterfly that flew by while I was trying to show you the tree. You might not have. I'm not sure if it got caught on this or not. Again, I was able to see it. And I have a bug that keeps flying around me. And I wish it would go away. One of those gnats. Starting to sweat, so of course they're being attracted to me. No chipmunks or squirrels today? Man, I guess I picked the wrong day to bring you to Riverside Park, but you know, we're seeing trees and bushes and that, which still is nice. And I say we got to sit and just Sit in the quiet and listen to nature, which is nice to do. We got some more young trees starting up. And there's the butterfly again, but it's a distance away, so. I'm not going to be able to really get it. Let's see. It's on a tree, but it's too hard. It's too hard for me to raise my arms up. I, again, that's part of being handicapped. You have to learn your limitations. You might not like them. But you can live with them. I can still do a lot. I can still get out. I might have to use the walker, but I can get out and enjoy life. So that's what I encourage you all to do. You've probably heard the expression, count your blessings every day. That's what I do. I count my blessings. I'm still able to get out and enjoy nature and other things. I'm hoping to be able to get to some museums here in a little bit. Unfortunately, the 
plus the gasoline and just the cost of getting into the place right now got to, has to factor into what I'm showing you all. That's why we're doing a lot of parks. But there's a variety of parks in Lake County. It's a really nice place to visit. Because we do have the Grand River and Lake Erie. So there's a lot of a lot of nature and a lot of good fishing. Uh, there's another park which I might get to. It's called Hogshead. It's not far from this park. However, that one I probably have to do in a few few trips because it's a big park and I can only do sections at a time. But apparently during the winter you can steelhead trout fish there. That's uh there's a video on the Lake County Metro Parks YouTube site about that. And yes, I do find out a lot about places and information on the various areas from various websites and YouTube sites. I enjoy enjoy watching a lot of the travel vlogs and the nature sites and the birding sites because I enjoy those things so much and I can't always get out to do it. So I live vicariously through other YouTube channels. And I hope, as I mentioned on that, you might check some of them out, because they're really informative and interesting. And, uh, I did learn also that one of the Lake County Metro Parks has beavers. Apparently, to get to see them, it's best to go in the morning or the evening. We're going to, I'm going to try and get out to that one here to uh, see the beavers. That park, it's a nice park. It's another one that will probably take several videos because that one even has a north and a south parking lot. <laughs> and here we get an up close and personal part of the tree uh, and down to get under it and we're coming up to the parking lot here as I said it's not a very very long to hike this a lot of people walk their dogs on it you know, like our dog she can't walk as much anymore either so a short little loop is good for her And as we come up to the parking lot here, oh, oh man, something just bit me. Sorry about that. That wasn't nice. Um, I gotta sit down here and close out the video for you all. And we'll get, get a look of the woods again. Oh, sorry about that. That was me sitting. So again, I want to thank you all for coming on this adventure with me. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and consider subscribing as I will be having other things coming up than parks. Trying to enjoy the parks in the summer, though. And also, there's plenty of parks close to where I live, so I don't have to travel very far and spend much on the gasoline. But anyhow, I want to thank you all for coming on this adventure with me. I hope you will stick with me, and we'll see each other again on the next adventure. 
And remember, those out there that are like me using walker, cane, all those wonderful gizmos, wheelchairs, they're not making us handicapped. They're making us handicapable. We can get out and do things. So thanks, folks. Have a great day.